Hello Leos, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for the beautiful Leos this week? Firstly you have the Justice card, then you have the Eight of Wands, then you have the Seven of Pentacles, and then you have the Five of Wands. They all came out very quickly. So as always, I'm going to talk you through these cards and then clarify them and see why they're coming out for you today. But firstly, the Justice card is usually about signing contracts, usually about legal matters, right? The justice system. But it can also be about like fairness, equal um, equality, or there's just something where there's a balance. There's a balance around something. And I won't know more depth about it until I clarify. But I'm feeling around, I don't know why I'm getting something about water. With this, and I'm saying balance, and I'm just, I don't know, some of you might be surfing and getting a balance, but um, it's coming through. I'm going to clarify that later. But you also have the Eight of Wands, so you have some type of communication or letter or fast, like, evolution. Fast evolution between you and someone because of the conversations you'll be having. So if you're meeting someone new, or if you have a new friend coming into your life this week, it's almost as if the conversations you have are so in-depth and the things you say and the things that play out between you both are so impactful that things progress nice and quickly where you can kind of go, oh yeah, we only knew each other. We've only known each other for a week, but it feels like lifetimes because there's a lot happening between you both, if that makes sense. Then you have Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is patience. So you have a very fast card with the Eight of Wands, fastest card in the deck, to the Seven of Pentacles, which is all about slowing down and being patient and not rushing into making a decision because you know um, it's not advising you to not rush in, it's more the energy of you choosing not to rush in. It's you kind of being very picky about what you do next, who you choose, what opportunity you take. You're very much like, um, you have a lot of options this week when it comes to something, and it could be jobs, it could be work, it could be ways of making money, um, because it's just pentacles, but whatever it is, you are very much like, hmm, I'm going to wait it out until one thing stands out among the rest. And then you have five of wands. Five of wands can be conflict, can be fighting, can be arguments, can be disagreements, obviously, you get what I'm trying to say. Um, so there's a little bit of a drama in some way this week, but it, it, I don't know what, when I'm saying it, kind of feels like it's funny, kind of feels like it's entertaining, it doesn't feel like it's overly toxic or negative, it just feels as if there's some type of debate or disagreement in some way. But how boring would be, would life be if everything was always everybody agreeing with everybody, right? <laughs> Clarifying justice. Nine of Wands with Justice. Nine of Wands is kind of like um, Wounded Warrior protecting yourself, hiding behind a wall, putting a wall up for yourself. With the Justice card here, some of you are a bit um, hmm, closed off to the idea of potentially, some of you this is marriage or something with the Justice card, just because it's signing contracts and there's a, um, there's a feeling of needing to protect yourself from further commitment with someone or something more, something more going on with someone and you're trying to, you're trying to protect, prevent further hurt? I don't know what that's about, but you're, you've definitely been hurt in the past and there's something where you're afraid of what's happened in the past repeating itself, um, to do with potentially a marriage or there's, I'm going to clarify this again because I, I know this won't be the case for everyone and it feels like it's only giving me one version. Knight of Wands with the Justice card. Hmm. Some of you are bringing justice to a situation, but it's in someone else's marriage. So you have like a friend that is, um, or it's in a, in a friend's partnership in some way. You are very well aware of someone being a bit of a player or something. And you're like, it's not that you're knocking. It's not that you're like a... It's more like, I don't know why I even said that, that's a weird thing to say, but it's just something where you know something's going on, you can tell, maybe you're very intuitive, maybe you're very psychic, and with the Knight of Wands it's almost as if you're calling someone out on their crap, you're calling someone out for not treating your friend right or something. With the Justice card it's almost like, 
you might have been in this person's position the opposite way around and you're like no one's told me no one told me that they were like that so I didn't see it so this time I'm gonna tell them this time I'm gonna make sure they know from me at least I know I've said something hmm clarify the eight of wands the world card and temperance and the six of cups so some of you hmm there's a completion of a cycle but with the eight of wands here some of you are kind of changing the way you speak you're changing the way you talk you're changing the way you interact with people and it's really really nice it's really it's not that you needed to you were fine but it's almost like you're shifting how you communicate with people or what you say or how much you choose to share and you're kind of rebalancing with the temperance card and the six of cups it's almost like you might start being a lot more like um silly or something having more silly conversations or playful or light-hearted if you're usually a very serious person or if there's just a lot of serious things happening there's something where you're going to choose to kind of talk about the more light-hearted things and focus on more um happy-go-lucky energy of just kind of enjoying the little things and even if there's serious stuff going on there's something where it's uh, no one's business or something and you're keeping it to yourself and then what you are sharing with others is happy and fun and light-hearted and it's not like you're against sharing or opening up to people it's more like you're trying to bring a positive feeling like you want people to leave your presence feeling lighter it just feels like you're bringing light to people which is really healing and beautiful clarify the seven of pentacles the seven of cups so hmm seven of cups is illusion sometimes daydreaming procrastinating just being like um aware of all the possibilities with the seven of pentacles of you taking your time choosing something there's something where you're really putting a lot of thought and feeling into choosing what you're choosing and i don't know what it is you're choosing it's it can be definitely around money definitely around work but there, there's so many options your way seven of pentacles seven of cups like you have seven different possibilities of directions you can go in doors you can open for yourself and you know that and then you're like well what one feels the best and you're just trying to feel your way through it but you're also waiting for a sign it's like you want someone to pat you on the back pat you on the back pat you on the shoulder and be like this is your door here's the key to the door this is your door and you're just kind of waiting but there's the energy of this is like you're going to be waiting forever like this is the energy of these cards even though you've been very patient you've been patient for many 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 months few years right you've been waiting and you've put so much thought and feeling into it and it's like well if nothing changes nothing changes is this energy both of these cards are standing still waiting 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 and there's like you have the power to choose what you want to do and if it's the wrong door go open another door but if you just stand waiting for the door to kind of light up or give you a sign then it's it's never going to do it it's go exploring go go on a journey clarify the five of wands you have ten of cups so that five of wands that argument that disagreement energy is around your family life it's around your home life ten of cups beautiful happy energy beautiful perfect happily ever after so whatever conflict's happening within your family it's it's very minor but it's also a feeling of like but you're also look at all the good stuff ten cups most cups you can have most happiness most fulfillment right and then five of wands if that's it like a little bit of conflict some fighting but whatever this fighting is like i said it feels playful it seems it's not heavy it's just like it's within your family it's not gonna god could you imagine if you're i feel as if some of you have lots of like fire signs in your family could you imagine if you all just got on perfectly all the time i don't know why i just feel like that would really really annoy you like why are you agreeing with everything i say like there's something where there's there's disagreements happening but it's keeping you all on your toes it's keeping you all mentally alert keeping you all like um like you'd be a good debater or something or you might have like been in debate class in school because there's something where it keeps you keeps your brain moving it's really it's refreshing um yeah so even though there's conflict happening this week or drama happening it's not it doesn't feel like a warning it feels like a it's happening but 
try to look at a bigger picture. It's, it's not. It, you're fighting, but laugh about it. Like, it's, how lucky are you to have all your family in the same room to fight with, right? There's something where um, it's not deep. I'm going to wrap your reading here. Wrap your reading here. Wrap up your reading here. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonated or you feel it will in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Tall Tale Tuesdays.